Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will cover the basic of composable that is text composable and modifiers. Basic as in how we used to have basics of XML like text view, button, image view, edit text and all of that. Similarly, we have basics of composable as well like text, modifiers, rows, columns, box layout, button, image and many more. So I have divided basic of composable in 4 to 5 parts. Once it is over then we will move on to little intermediate topics like creating bottom navigation or navigation drawer, state flow, lazy grid and all of that. Okay. Also basic of composable topics are very easy as well as very important because they are the foundation of Jetpack Compose. And it's like if your basics are clear then you will be able to create any kind of UI using Jetpack Compose. Got it? Now open Android Studio, create a new project and choose empty activity that is obviously a Jetpack Compose activity. Name it as Learn Text and Modifiers. And done. Text and Modifier both are completely different topics. So first let's understand Text Composable. So remember how we used to have text view in XML? Same way we have text in Jetpack Compose. What was the purpose of text view in XML? To display the text, correct? Same, text composable also displays the text. But in XML we used to have layout to write text view. Here we don't have any layout, then where are we supposed to write? In composable functions. See, this is default composable function and a preview function but we won't use them. Instead, we will create from scratch. So, remove them. And done. Now, we will create a composable function on our own. So, to create that, first write composable annotation. Then below it, create a function. I'll name it as Learn text and modifiers. I don't want to make it very complicated, so I won't pass any parameters here. Then inside the function, here we will write the text composable. So write text. This is the keyword. This text has multiple parameters in it. Like if you will click on it, see so many parameters like text, modifier, which we will see later, then color of the text, font size, style, family, alignment, and so many parameters, right? You are not supposed to edit this file. You can refer it if you don't remember parameters, okay? So out of which, I'll use a very simple parameter, text, to display this string. First, let's do that. Here, write text is equal to, in double quotes, write the string. So I'll write, hello world. And that's it. But remember, you are supposed to call composable function in on create method inside set content. Here, call learn text and modifier method. And now run the app. Look, hello world text is displayed successfully. Great, right? Now let's do more customization with parameters. This is the list of parameters. Out of which we will use text, obviously, then color font size and font style. So come back here, write comma, then color is equal to color class dot maybe red, then again a comma, font size is equal to 32 point sp. Again a comma, then font style is equal to font style class dot italic. Now let's run the app again. Look, the text is in red color, it's big and it's italic. Easy thing, right? Now let's see how do we declare a string resource. Means in resource strings.xml, here I'll create a text where string name is hello underscore text. And string as hello world from strings. Now 
Now, instead of using double quoted text, I'll write string resource where id is equal to r dot string dot string name that is hello text and that's it. Now run the app and look now the text says hello world from string. This is how you use string resource. Got it? This is all about text composable. There are more parameters in it which we will cover with upcoming videos. Now let's move on to our second topic that is modifiers. Modifiers is a part of parameters in composable function. Like if you'll see here, there is a parameter as modifier, correct? As this modifier parameter is present in text, likewise it is present in other composable functions as well. Like in button or image or checkbox and all, got it? But what does that do? Remember how we used to have padding, background, height, width in XML? Now those parameters are present in modifiers. Like I'll show you. First, I'll remove hard-coded string because it will make you confused. Instead, easy to understand string in double quotes. Now see, as modify is a parameter itself, so give a comma here and write modify is equal to modifier dot here see a list of all the modifier parameters which you can use. Like I'll use multiple parameters. So first I'll use padding as 22.dp. Then dot and next modify parameter may be a background with color black. And that's it. Now let's run the app. See the background is black with a padding of 22dp. And that's it. Also, one of the important parameter of modifier is clickable. Like how we used to have on click in XML. Same way, using clickable, we can make any UI element clickable. So to do that, first create a variable as click on text. Like this states that what action to be performed when someone clicks on it. As of now, nothing. So I'll leave it as blank. If you want, you can give here a toast maybe. Then over here in modifier, write dot clickable. Inside it, on click is equal to click on text variable. And that's it. Now let's run the app. Look, everything is same except now the text is clickable if you will notice it carefully. And that's how modifier works. Also, without running the app, we can also preview it, right? Let's see how. So here, write preview annotation with show background as true. Then composable annotation. And then create a function as show preview. Then inside it, app theme, which is this one. And inside the theme, call learn text and modifiers method. And that's it. Now without running the app, simply click on split mode. Maybe click on build and refresh. And see, it shows a preview of how a text looks like. Cool, right? So I guess that is it for the video. If you are new to this channel, then please consider subscribing to my channel. And I'll see you in the next video.